Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to learn about a secret way to work with Kubernetes. This method will make everything very much easier to work with Kubernetes and anything you want to perform with respect to Kubernetes it becomes very easy. Okay, which I'll explain in a bit. Before that I would just let you know team that batch 6 of DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps is starting from 30th of July. So make sure to enroll if you are interested in dedicated learning. Okay. This course goes for uh, two months and the price is 7559. Two of the main highlights that I would tell about this course is that first of all to every one of you I will be connecting one to one helping you prepare your resume, guiding you with different projects, how to write projects, how to explain projects, what kind of tasks should be added in your resume and everything. And this will be really helpful for people who want to transition to DevOps from a different domain. Also team most interesting thing like which most of the people want to know is about the projects in that batch 6. So there will be total 10 projects which we are going to hands on implement. Okay. First will be CRUD based Java full stack application, then Node.js full stack application, a portfolio website, a virtual browser and then we are going to have three multi tier applications. This multi tier application will be using a database of PostgreSQL. Then second uh, multi tier application will be using MongoDB database. Third will be using my MySQL uh, database application. So in this way you'll be having a very wide variety of knowledge in different kind of projects. Also we are going to have a microservice based application. We are going to have real world Java application. We are going to have .NET based monitoring application and Python based monitoring application. In short basically you are going to have knowledge on all different languages based projects. How to build and deploy them properly. Okay. This is what is going to be in batch 6. So if interested make sure to enroll and again I'm saying I'm going to help every one of you who is in the batch one to one how to prepare resume, how to add projects, what kind of projects are suitable for you, how to explain them as well as what kind of tasks should be there in your resume. Okay, so check that out. Uh, so basically uh, when we have completed all 10 projects hands on implemented then I'm going to implement one mega project. The reason that I'm calling that project as mega project because whatever tool we learn in this course every tool we are going to use utilize in that single project so that you can very clearly understand how exactly each of the tool works and for what it is being utilized. Okay, so that mega project can be uh, it will be a kind of project that can be easily added in your resume also because all the every single tool that we study in this course is going to be utilized there. Okay, so team let me explain you how the thing that I'm going to teach it's it's different from the native method that we used. Okay, so let me I'll show the comparison also side by side. Okay, let us say if I want to see any resource I'll run the command kubectl then get then resource name right. This is the general command that I run but the method that I'm going to show there you just need to write like this a colon and let's say I want to see a pod so I'll write pod and in this way I'll be able to see okay. Now second one let us say if I want to describe any of the pod, right? So I'll run the command kubectl describe pod then pod name, right? But using the method that I'm going to show you, you just need to uh, hover like select the pod and press D and this will describe the pod for you, right? Thirdly, if I want to see the logs of any of the resource like pod uh, logs, then I'll run the command kubectl logs then pod name right but here we just need to select the pod press l right also let us say if i want to edit of the any of the resource like if i want to edit the deployment yaml file so i have to run the command like this kubectl edit then deployment then file name whatever the file name is there right here we just have to press e and it will you have to select the uh, deployment uh, deployment click uh, sorry uh, press e and it will start in the editable mode okay if i want to delete any of the pod i have to run the command kubectl delete uh, pod then pod name right here what i have to do control plus d and it will delete the pod so you can understand very easily that how easier it will become if we use the, this specific application or specific tool to manage our Kubernetes cluster. You can see the difference very clearly how the uh, command reduces to very short commands, right? Just like one letter command it's become, right? Okay. 
So this is what exactly I'm going to show you in demo in hands on how we can set this tool up for free and it's this tool is of very small size and how we can utilize this tool to manage our Kubernetes resource resources. Okay. See here I have shown just few commands, but yeah, I'll be showing a little bit more with hands on so that I can understand in real time how exactly it works and how useful this can be. Okay. So yeah, let's move on to that. So team, I have set up Kubernetes cluster and I have installed one uh, application also. Okay. Now let us say I want to see pods. So I'll run the command as kubectl get pods, right? And all the pods that are available will be coming, right? So I have to run this command, but the way that I'm going to show you, first of all, what is the way? So we need to install one tool, which is known as k9. Okay. How do we install? So we need to run small command to uh, two commands we have, which is going to set up k9. I'll run it here. And second command we have is this one. Okay. And let's wait for this. Okay. Okay. And in order to start it, we just need to run as k9 s. And you can see it has started. Now, by default, you can see all the ports that are currently running in default namespace are visible to us, right? So now let's say you are doing this for the first time and you want to see what commands we are having. So you can simply press a uh, question mark and then it's going to show you all the commands that we have. Okay. For coming back, just press escape. Okay. So team, let us understand how exactly K9 will uh, help us. Okay. So first of all, when you set up, you can see the details about the ports present in the default uh, namespace. Okay. Now let's say I want to see uh, services. So generally what command I run, I run the command as kubectl get svc or get service. Okay. And it's going to show the services, right? Same thing. If I want to do it in uh, using K9, it becomes much easier. I just have to type colon and then type the resource which you want to view. So let's say I want to view the resource, which is service. Okay, so I'll type service, click enter, and now you can see all the services are visible to me, right? One very interesting and most important thing about this, uh, like uh, monitoring of the resources using K9 is that it's live monitoring. That means if uh, immediately, let's say, uh, if I switch back to pod, so let's say if any of these pod crashed immediately, then immediately we'll be seeing the status change here. Okay, for example, let me show you. What I can do, uh, we have one file. Let me edit this file. Okay, I'll change something like uh, some Docker image or something. Okay, uh, let me change it. Okay, and let me apply this kubectl apply hyphen f one dot yaml. Okay, and one thing one of the resource might be configured or change something okay now you can see immediately it goes into red red color because error image pool okay that means this uh, pods that you are seeing here or whatever resources you are seeing here they are constantly being monitored it's not like that key uh, if i want to see some status i'll need to run like kubectl get pods right and then we'll see the status how old they are then so and so right here it's like live monitoring you are seeing okay that is the one of the very important feature of this okay also let's say for some reason you want to refresh the page so you can run the command as control and then you can run uh, r okay you can see here it says refreshing okay now let us say you want to view everything so you can press control a okay these are the resources now whichever resource you select so it's details it's going to show for example, let's say we have pod here. So I'll press enter and now you can see the pod details. Okay. So control is going to show you all the resources available and based on specific resource, you can just click enter. Okay. Now let us say, uh, I want to see namespaces. So I'll type colon NS click enter. And as of now, you can see we are having these namespaces. So let us say that I want to see resources within specific namespace. Okay. First of all, uh, we can see that, uh, colon ns we can see what namespaces we are having okay and let's say i want to see resources inside namespace aditya so i'll just oh, uh, go over it and click enter and now you can see here we can see the resources here if i run any of the command like uh, service it's coming empty because as of now we are looking everything inside uh, aditya namespace okay this is fine right now let me switch back to default
okay and here i can just select the default click enter okay again all the resources are back okay now let us say i want to see logs of these uh, resources okay logs of the pod so generally what command we run we run the command as kubectl uh, sorry kubectl logs and the pod name or resource name right so i'll just copy this paste it here and we can see the detail log what is happening right same thing if i want to do here i simply need to go on that machine okay go on that service uh, sorry go on that resource like pod and press l as soon as i press l you can see log is coming that log is also live you can see it's coming again and again because it's happening again right that is one thing that is one good thing right now let us say i want to describe any of the uh, resources right so for describing any of the these uh, like uh, pods i can run the command like kubectl describe and the whatever like i want to view so let's say card service i want to view i'll press here and it, it's going to describe it okay sorry uh, describe then pod and now we should be able to see the de described part of the pod like basically you know, detailed information what happened basically events okay here if i want to do the same thing i simply need to like select any of the pod by arrow keys press d and it's going to show me uh, basically describe the uh, pod what is happening okay you can see how easier it becomes right just pressing few keys and everything is happening right now let us say uh, like i want to edit a resource right so here for example we have like uh, uh, let's say kubectl uh, deployments get deployments okay here you can see these are the deployment and if i want to edit something i can just run the command as kubectl edit deployment the name of the deployment for example it's i want to edit this one okay and it's going to give me the yaml file uh, which i can edit okay but if i want to do the same thing inside here what i can do first of all i'll press colon then get the resources deployment if you see the deployments and let us say that i want to edit this so i just have to press e as soon as i press e i can see the file right so if i want to make any changes to the deployment I can just press E, select the deployment, press E and modify the YAML file and then I can like make these changes. Okay. Now, next thing that I would suggest like let's say, uh, let us go to pod. Okay. And let us say that I want to access the terminal of this pod. Okay. Any of the terminal. So uh, what I have to press, I can simply press uh, basically S. Okay. What S is going to do, it's open the shell of that uh, resource. So I press S. And now you can see here it's written k9 shell okay now if i run ls command you can see all the things like uh, card service i have opened so it's information uh, it's files and uh, things are there right okay now uh, let us come out of it okay okay so this is there and yeah there are many other commands as well but the thing is key basic overview now you have now you can set it up and now you can utilize it one thing you surely might have understood that it's very much easier as compared to running the basic commands kubectl do this kubectl do that instead of that we can we can simply select resources uh, like using arrow keys and whatever we want to do we can do for example let's say i want to delete the pod so what i can run i can simply press ctrl d okay you can see here delete pod default right using arrow key click enter and you can see it is getting terminated and second resource is automatically going to create so and you you see one more thing that it's happening live right everything is coming here that is the good thing okay so that is the benefit of using k9s uh, for like managing your cluster or like working or like basically re managing the resources within the cluster it's very much easier to use and yeah initially for the first time it might seem little bit uh, complex but once you start using it that it becomes much easier okay so yeah thanks for watching team and have a nice day